Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our final third of that case we popped open last night. This is Random Team 2 of 2022 Panini Donruss Football. All teams are in all card ship and a big thank you to this group for making it happen. Appreciate it. There are the teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Three and a one. Four times. One, two, three, and four. Got Rick down to Aaron. Three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. We got Buffalo down to Miami. All right, Rick with the Bills, Jared with the Steelers, Eric with the Texans, Scott with the Boys, Eric with the Saints, Dustin with the Pats, Tristan with the Panthers. Scott with the Broncos, Chris with the Giants, Tristan with the Ravens, Scott with the Titans, Devin with the Rams, Aaron W. with the Eagles, Tristan with the Lions, Aaron W. with the Bears, Last Spot Mojo, Sean with the Bengals, Aaron B. with the ATL, Aaron W. with the Seahawks, Logan with the Chargers, Chris with the Packers, Ben with the Browns, Chad with the Cardinals, Aaron with the Aaron W. with the Niners, Eric with the Buccaneers, Kevin with the Jets, Mike with the Vikings, uh, Eric with the Chiefs, Michael with the Commanders, Sean with the Jags, Mike with my Raiders, Kyle D with the Colts, and Aaron W with the Miami Dolphins. Let's alphabetize the teams. And we're going to pause the video just for a moment. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. Hi. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the other side of the trade window. No deals were done here on Thursday the 16th. Your Thursday, my Friday, whatever day it is. Let's try to make it a good day. Thanks everyone for getting in. Remember, like I said, we marked those boxes with three so we know they're from the same case. Next break, jazbeescasebreaks.com from a fresh case. If there's any non uh, non NFL team cards like uh, like TV presenter Scott Hansen, and there may be so there may be some uh, Santa Claus apparently. If we see any of those, we'll randomize that as one lot to one person in the break. Is there any, uh, got, I got the golf in the background, the first round of the Genesis Invitational. I'm going to Saturday, the third round. It's here in LA. I'm gonna see if, uh, see if, see if Tiger makes the cut. I hope he does. Uh, it's gonna be, I think he's gonna, it's gonna be a little close. Number one of six. All card ship. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for getting in. It's a fun set. A lot of different parallels and variations and shipping everything. And is it our first hit? It is. It's Danny Gray, the rookie's autograph. That's a catch. 
Look at that, hands out in front. That's some good technique there. All right, we like that. Like the hands out in front, kind of close together. His, his eyes guiding the ball right into his hands. There's 84 out of 299. That's for Aaron W. in the Niners. There are, uh, there are I, we have seen a Brock Purdy, not too many, but we have seen a Brock Purdy uh, rated rookie card in here. So let's look for that guy. You can tell that they had planned to uh, release this a little bit earlier. We got Donovan Peoples Jones to 34. That's for Cleveland. A little bit of a ding in that corner there, unfortunately. But that'll go to Ben and the Browns. Travis Kelsey. Jalen Hurts. And we got Leather Kings, Brees Hall. Piece of the pigskin. 109 out of 399 for Kevin and the Jets. J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets. And a Kenny Pickett rated rookie card for the Steelers. Jared with Pittsburgh. All right, box two of six. Got more in the store if you want to run this back tonight. There's an ESPN article here. NFL draft number one overall pick trade history. There's been 12 deals. I guess the idea of um, well, I guess the idea of trading Justin Fields apparently is gaining some, some traction. But it's more likely they trade the number one pick, right? So according to ESPN, the Chicago Bears own the number one overall pick in the 2023 NFL Draft thanks to a 3-14 and record and the Texans winning in week 18 of the 2022 season. Bears are in position to take the best prospect available or trade the top pick and add draft capital or players to complement quarterback Justin Fields, but a much improved sophomore season. So how rare is it for the number one pick 
to be traded before the NFL draft. It has happened just uh, 12 times since the NFL-AFL merger in 67, including one pick that was dealt twice in 1984. Those subsequent selections include notable players such as Michael Vick, Earl Campbell, Jeff George. It last happened in 2016 when the Tennessee Titans traded the first pick to the Los Angeles Rams two weeks before the draft of the Rams moving up all the way from number 15 and surrendering several valuable picks. The, uh, those Tennessee choices turned into running back Derrick Henry and tight end Johnny Smith, among others, while the Rams drafted Jared Goff at the top of the board. I forgot that they traded up that high. Kind of crazy that, you know, what, just seven years later, Goff is not with, not with the team. Sam Williams to 100, press proof. Mike's asking, when was the last time a top pick forced a trade? Letting the top team know that, they, that he didn't want to play there. Elway, Lindris, et cetera. Was that uh, Eli Manning? Was that the last time that happened in, in the NFL? Wasn't he the number one? Or the, I think he was the, uh, I think the Chargers had the number one pick. But I think Eli and his family made it very clear that, that he was not going to go to the Chargers. But you can't really uh, can't really blame him. The charge ownership is pretty terrible. There's Jerome Ford, rated rookie autograph. For Ben. Cleveland, this is for you. Oh, there's Scott Hansen, so he'll represent this card will represent all the non uh, non NFL NFL team cards. And that T.J. Hawkinson is to 75. Although you heard that Jaden Ivey either didn't interview or interview poorly with the teams above the Pistons, so he would go to the Pistons. Yeah, I feel like there's there's got to be some there's got to be some gamesmanship there, right? In terms of in terms of draft position. thermostats here. Uh, we got a Nick Bosa, all pro kings, 42 out of 100. Thick card there for Aaron W. and the Niners. Surprisingly, when Isaiah Thomas interviewed the Pistons, he purposely had a bad interview because he wanted to be drafted by his hometown Bulls. But the Pistons saw through and they got him anyway. And there's Grady Jarrett to 97. That, that's why sometimes it's hard to knock players for wanting to, you know, Go to a low, you know, relocate to wherever they want to. It's one of the few sports. I know they're getting paid handsomely, but it's one of the few uh, 
professions in the world where you professional sports that is one of the few professions in the world that you can't choose where you want to go at least to start your career How would it shake out if there was no draft and it was all sort of free agency? My guess is that it would just be, you know, the wealthy teams just, uh, you know, just buying up all the all the top players. It would kind of look like the uh, it would kind of look like the English Premier League. That's kind of like how soccer does it. There's no draft in soccer. It's highest bidder. I mean, there's a whole, in, the, in soccer, there's a whole kind of almost a player development cottage industry, right? Where there were smaller clubs in England or around Europe will have a knack for developing youngsters or they come from a talent-rich reason, a re region, talent-rich region. They're able to develop young players, and then, and then with the transfer fee system, they're able to get a huge fee for them if they move on to a bigger club. This obviously Chuck Norris will go to the Cowboys. Could be autographs of him too. I'll go to the boys as well. Oh, nice shot, Tiger. Tower members with hockey many, many years ago. I think teams could sign draft slash sign players from their region leading to from the region leading to so many early Stanley Cups. I'm, what do you mean? Or they, they had the exclusive right to sign or draft players in their region? Is that what you're saying? Another Kenny Pickett rated rookie. Mac Jones to uh, three fifty two. And all pro kings, Aaron Rodgers, who I think is currently in the dark right now, allegedly. On a darkness retreat? I feel like he's the kind of dude that will talk about that. But, but he's not really doing it. But he wants you to think that he's the kind of guy that would go on a darkness retreat. That's the vibe I get from Aaron Rodgers. He's the sort of guy that would be like, "Hey, I just, uh, I just might, I just cleansed my house, burning some sage the other day. That's why I couldn't come out." And you're like, "All right, you might did, you might have just done one room, or you might just be telling us you did that, but you didn't really do that." But he wants you to think you did that. It's T.J. Hawkinson to eighty-eight. Oh yeah, I make my own kombucha. Sure, sure. Eric. 
There's a second Scott Hansen. I think they're both exactly the same. All right, we're halfway through this half or third case break. Another box. Yeah, imagine if regular jobs were like sports. Would there be like a, a group breaking combine? I don't know if Jaspies would be high would, would be drafting that high. Ooh, Justin just missed that putt. Too fast. Oh, how's he doing? Fast? Tiger? Yeah. He's I think he's even or maybe one over. But he just had a really great shot right next to the mm. right next to the hole. So. It's so funny. He comes back and everybody. Just yeah, everyone's goes, like, "Oh, now we're golf fans." <laughs> no, but it's like we're gonna be all about him to win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, dude. Yeah. Um, I already left the Bowman cases back there that are all yours. Okay, cool. We'll Thank you. We're giving away one for like some pit packs tomorrow. Oh, nice. All right, good. So. Oh, here's the fans of the game. We were just talking about it. There's Chuck Norris. Cards don't sign Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris signs. Chuck Norris doesn't sign cards. Cards sign Chuck Norris. There you go. That's the line. Take two. Chuck Norris doesn't sign cards. Cards sign Chuck Norris. That's for Dallas. That's going to go to Scott. Nice, Tiger with a birdie, he's even. Is Chuck Norris a fan of uh, the Dallas Cowboys? He was born in Oklahoma. Parents divorced when he was 16, he relocated to Prairie Village, Kansas, and then to Torrance, California, which is just, just, uh, just a little bit south of us. Here at Jaspies. Jersey King, Zach Wilson, 16 out of 399. What are the chances of someone who was born in Oklahoma? I guess there's no pro team. Yeah, there's no pro. I guess that would be the closest pro football team, right, Dallas? So maybe he did grow up a Cowboys fan. Forty-eight out of seventy, Joe Burrow, Bengals. That'll be for Sean Maddox. Yeah, we should we should warn the Eagles fans here. And Chuck Norris is a Dallas Cowboys fan. They might think twice.
Got a George Pickens die cut. Four out of 75. Rated rookie die cut. Press proof. And that will be for Jared and the Steelers. I'm on the Chuck Norris Wikipedia page. Control F. Cowboys. No reference to the Dallas Cowboys on his Wikipedia. And there's a mere wife for my Raiders. Five out of 35. That's going to go to Mike. And Saquon Barkley flipped around for some reason. Might be, it might be a variation. I don't, I don't think so, though. We got a Danny Gray, 12 out of 25 die cut for the Niners. Aaron W. Power Plus. Autograph, Jalen Hurts. Nice. 15 out of 25. Power Plus Auto for the Fly Eagles. Fly. That goes to Aaron W. Got randomized the Eagles. What a really nice, uh, what a really nice season for Jalen Hurts. Really made a lot of progress. It looks like he's going to be the QB of the future for the foreseeable future for the Eagles. I don't really see him going anywhere. You know, I'm sure he'll. As he works on becoming a, I mean, made a lot of strides as a thrower, you know, but as a passer of the ball. But as he improves there, won't have to rely on the legs as much. You know, that, that, could, be, that could be the evolution of uh, Jalen Hurts. Could be in the league for a long time. But yeah, he's probably contractually obligated to be a Cowboys fan. Riffer saying if... Uh, since he was Walker, Texas Ranger. I mean, I'm assuming that that Panini had to, you know, at least get his permission. I mean, they're, well, they're paying him. He has autographs in this set. So there must have been some sort of agreement. It's like, it's okay if we put you as a fan of the game, right? As a Cowboys fan. And, you know, he must have said, yeah. So. In one of the Expendables movies, someone says to Chuck Norris' character, I've, I've heard another rumor that you were bitten by a King Cobra. His response was, yeah, I was. After five days of agonizing pain, the Cobra died. forgot that uh, Chuck Norris had spent a lot of uh, some formative years here in uh, in Los Angeles in Torrance specifically which is just south of us apparently he joined the US Air Force as an air policeman was sent to South Korea in the late 50s That's where he began some interest got his interest in martial arts and he was at March Air Force Base in California after he was discharged from the military in 62. He applied to be a police officer in Torrance. While on the waiting list, he opened a martial arts studio. Hmm. Local guy, Chuck Norris. He might have trained with Bruce Lee. Although Bruce Lee was in, Nor he was in Northern California, or was Bruce Lee in L.A.? I don't remember. Here's a Mark. Is Mark Andrews looking like he's gonna throw the ball? Like he looks like he's in a in a passing motion, but that would be he might be a lefty. Tyquan Thornton. Dominator Zach Wilson. 
Zamir White. Or maybe he, he just caught the ball. That's what Revel's saying. Yeah, it looks like he caught the ball. James Cook to 25. Sunsets, this pattern is a one of one. But nice one for the Bills. Rick T with Buffalo. Got an Aiden Hutchinson, four out of 10. Nice gold cracked ice for Detroit. Tristan with the Lions. Oh, that's right, yeah. Chuck Norris did fight Bruce Lee at the end of Way of the Dragon. There was a good, uh, there's a Kenny Pickett. Wasn't there a 30 for 30 on Bruce Lee? That was pretty good. Jared with the Steelers. And Cooper Cup. Jahan Dotson. Got a Brian Dawkins. Jersey and autograph. Canton Kings. Jersey and auto. Four color patch with the auto. Eight out of ten. Nice break for the Eagles. That's going to go to Aaron. Aaron W. Scoring the W in this break. I think, there, I think there's junior autographs near too. Dale Jr. autos. Montez Sweat to 90. And another autograph. 11 out of 49. The second auto. An above average box. It's one autograph, one merit memorabilia per box on average. We got the memorabilia, which had an auto. And now we got another autograph. This is uh, Dalvin's brother? Brother? Cousin? Brother. James Cook for Rick T. Buffalo! I wish it was a gold parallel. I could make a Buffalo gold reference. All right, final box. Right, B water, that's what it was. It's a pretty good one, if you haven't seen it. Even if you're just, even if you're not interested in I guess martial arts in general. I feel like just as a just as a pop culture character, I think it's a person. It's interesting to watch. It's gonna skip right off the green. Chuck Norris, I mean, look, what, what hasn't he done? He, he's doing karate competitions. He worked for Northrop, opened a chain of karate schools, had a bunch of celebrity clients. Oh, so, and then I guess in the, uh, in the in the 70s, is really early roles in Breakthrough is, the, is from 1970 to 78. So he started doing some movies. 
79 to 83. Action film star. A Force of One. The Octagon. Eye for an Eye. Forced Vengeance. Lone Wolf McQuaid. Which became the inspiration for Walker, Texas Ranger. Mainstream success with Missing in Action. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Code of Silence. Invasion USA. The Delta Force, right. I think I remember Delta Force are the ones I, I remember the most. Firewalker. Some Missing in Action sequels, which they probably shouldn't have done. And then that takes us through the through the 90s. In 93, he began shooting the action series Walker, Texas Ranger. Lasted for eight seasons on CBS and then continued in syndication. Yeah, that show's on, on that's, that show might be on right now somewhere on some network. Subsequent films, The President's Man, Bells of Innocence, Dodgeball, founded the World Combat League, and then Chuck Norris Facts, which originally started appearing on the internet in early 2005. There's a guy that started this. This is some guy named Ian Spector, an American humorist and digital strategist best known for creating nature's pocket internet phenomenon, Chuck Norris Facts. Thanks, Ian. Final box, good luck. So there you go, there's, there's your... Uh, Little uh, little run through of Chuck Norris today. It's always good to run through those guys. Hey, there's a Brock Purdy. That goes to Aaron W. A nice break with the Eagles. Gets the Brock Purdy rated rookie card. I don't know if that's the design or if that's a. That might be the design, right? Not a centering issue. Anyway, there you go. Brock Lobster and Justin Jefferson. Jersey Kings to three ninety nine. It's for Mike and Minnesota. We can if you want to, see, we won't hold you to it. I mean if if it if it goes on like that for a couple more days, we may just end up canceling and refunding that break anyway. But if you want to get into some 2021 National Treasures Collegiate Football, it's on the website, folks. Get it before it's, we make it no longer available. Oh, well, you know what they say, Steve. Behind every joke, a kernel of truth. Frankly, I thought that uh, I thought that break would be moving a little bit more quickly as well. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll build a maybe I'll build a filler for that a little bit later tonight. That might help might help reignite some momentum on that break. Almost done. We're going to do the randomizer for the uh, Scott Hansen cards. There's Matt Stafford to 404. We'll do that and then we'll do a little recap. Here's the auto Shaq Leonard, 36 out of 49. For the blue horseshoes, that'll be for Kyle. I'll do a little recap and then we'll move on to the next break. Thanks everybody.
Uh, another six box break in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's the first third of the case, fresh case. All right, and no points or anything like that, right? Nothing else randomized, perfect. We'll grab everybody's names and winner take all on the non-NFL team cards after three and a six, nine times. Name on top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, Chris Perrin. You'll get those two cards right there. Fans of the game cards. And if there's any other non-NFL team card I miss, that'll go to you as well. So there's a little recap. So hold on, this is actually a nice break. So we got the Brock Purdy, James Cook, the Canton Kings. So I'm out of 10, we found a Jalen Hurts in there as well. This is why I went down that Chuck Norris rabbit hole. We got the Chuck Norris fans of the game. I gotta snap a picture of that. Got Danny Gray, some Kenny Pickett, piece of the pigskin. A lot of fun stuff. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll uh, do some more football with you next time. Bye-bye.